Hello, good day to all, and welcome to this Teams training video. In this video, we will learn how to send an invitation to a Teams meeting, uh, also how to send an invitation to somebody who's outside of your organization. We'll also look at using the scheduling assistant within Teams so we can find out if somebody's busy or not. We'll also check out how to schedule a meeting in Outlook. And finally, you will learn how do you send a link to somebody inviting them to a Teams meeting. Now that last one is particularly handy if you are running some sort of public event or training session in which you are not too sure as to the email addresses of each and every attendee. So my name's Simon, I'm from Computer Tutoring, let's dive in. Great, so what we'll do first is do what we usually would do in Teams to invite someone to a Teams meeting, and that's within Teams itself. So here we have a week in, well, it's in my future. This is in June in 2021, and I want to sort a meeting out on Monday morning. So I'm going to highlight the time for the meeting. So you can see I've just selected here the uh, 8 and the 9 and let go. When I do, I get the meetings details page up here, uh, you can see at the top there I've got details, so I've got that meeting details page here. So what I need to do next is add in the title for the meeting. So I'm going to call this very, move my mouse out of the way, important meeting. So now I need to add my required attendees. So I'm going to click on add required attendees and I want to invite Joshua to the meeting. So I'm going to type Joshua, here I've got Joshua Fortescue, so I'm going to click on that. Brilliant. Uh, and now I'm going to invite somebody who's outside the organization. So how do you do that? You just simply enter in their email address. So I'm going to enter in our Excel uh, consultancy, uh, free Excel training at gmail.com. Uh, press a tab and we can invite them to the meeting. So what I'd like to do is just draw your attention very much to this here. You see it says Joshua Fortescue is busy, which means that because he's within my organization, I can see his calendar or my teams can see his calendar and it knows that he's got another appointment. So what we can do is use the scheduling assistant. So if you look at the top, you'll see that there's a little tab that says scheduling assistant. So if you give that a click, we can have a look and see when Joshua has some free time. So if I just, uh, just gonna scroll along here, I can use this little scroll bar just here and just drag across, there we go. Uh, I'm just gonna hold down control on the keyboard and roll, uh, away from myself to enlarge the screen, uh, the, the zoom window. So I can see here that um, Joshua is free uh, around lunchtime. Uh, yeah, maybe that's a bit much. I could just maybe just drag to go through here. And uh, there we go, we've got an afternoon here. So I can drag and I can give Joshua a little bit of uh, gap between the two. So he's got a meeting there ending at half past. So I'm going to give him 15 minutes to recover and suggest the meeting on that time. Now notice you can see here this free Excel training. Because free Excel training is outside of our organization or my organization, I do not know when that consultant is free. So I'm just going to put that meeting in and I'm sure that let us know if they are busy at that time. Great. So now I can go back to details. And now if you look at the timings, you can see that the meeting has been, uh, the meeting time has been changed. That's great. So now what I can do is I can change the meeting. If I want to say, for instance, if this meeting repeats, I can choose the repeating interval just here. So I can decide whether or not it's going to repeat every week or daily, weekly, monthly, yearly or custom. So I can do that if I need to. Uh, I can decide whether the meeting is all day or not. So I might set the meeting for all day if it's not some sort of seminar or some sort of exhibition and go there and it's just going to run for the whole day and I might put meetings throughout that particular day. Uh, what I'm going to do now is type in the details for the meeting. So what I'm going to do is just type in uh, product launch meeting agenda okay and I can put lots of formatting in here I can use the highlighter pen just to highlight this here and uh, 
click on the highlighter pen color to highlight the meeting, make it important. I can put items in the list of, uh, you know, what is the new product? You know, how will it oops, be marketed? Uh, when is the launch? So I could put questions and all of that type of thing and make format matting here. I can even highlight uh, a particular bit of text and add in a hyperlink if I need to, uh, to a website or maybe to a channel, another YouTube channel or another channel advertising uh, or showing more details about that product. When I'm ready to go, I can click on the send button in the top right hand corner. So you have to click on the send button, give that a click, and then that meeting invite will be sent to Joshua and to the consultant at Free Excel Training. And you can see it's down here in my diary, the very important meeting. How do we schedule a Teams meeting in Outlook? Well, let's have a look. So here we have Outlook. We've got the same date period here, and you can see our very important meeting has automatically been added to my calendar in Outlook. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a schedule another meeting on the Tuesday, and I'm going to do that by selecting 10 to 11. That's my meeting. I'm now going to select new Teams meeting that you can see on the ribbon at the top of Outlook. So now we have the details for the meeting. So we can type in uh, our other title. We can click on the required and type in the person that we need to invite. So we're going to invite Joshua here again. Um, and this is just like you would set up the meeting in Outlook, um, a normal meeting in Outlook. But if you see down here, you have a Microsoft Teams meeting with a link that you can use to join the meeting. Click on send. And then that meeting then will be sent to Joshua Fortescue. Okay, so how do you send a link to somebody inviting them to a Teams meeting. This is particularly handy if you're not really aware of all of the attendees' email addresses, perhaps you're conducting a training event that somebody else is setting up, or maybe you're just setting up a public event, a link to a Teams show, uh, maybe some sort of health food expo or whatever. So this is what you do. So it's just swapping back to Teams here now. Um, here I've got my very important meeting. Now if I click on that once, here is the link here to the meeting. If I click on this button just to the right hand side, you can see here I can copy the link to the meeting. And then what I can then do is I can go to my Word file here, type in the text that I want to use as my anchor text, so the, the hyperlink text. So click to join. There we go. And all I would need to do then is to highlight the links just like so. Right click go up to and click on link and then just make sure that I've got the existing file or web page selected just at the top here and in the address here I can right click and paste the link. I can then click on OK and there I've got click to join. Now if I wanted to just copy the whole thing and put it on an email you can do that so if I swap back to the calendar here and double click then it brings up my meeting details. If I have a look down at the meetings sort of uh, uh, the extra details for this meeting, if I want to send this, I would highlight the whole lot, or at least above join on your computer or mobile phone app before I copied it. And then I would swap to, let's just bring that back to Word. And if I just wanted to have that, I could paste that as well. And I could see all of these details here, but that looks rather messy. I like that other method looking good. So there you go. All you need to know about how to send an invitation to a Teams meeting, also including people from outside of your organization, how to use schedule assistance in Teams, how to schedule a Teams meeting in Outlook, and finally, how to send a link to somebody who is outside of your organization. Now, we're going to continue this series of training videos on Teams. So if you haven't already done so, make sure you click on that subscribe and the notifications button so you don't miss a thing. If you are on Facebook or Instagram or Twitter, then reach out to us. It would be great uh, to hear from you. And if you have any questions at all about how to use Teams, 
or you've got any comments about how you use Teams, then please put them below. Be great to hear from you. So my name's Simon from Computer Tutoring. Hope everyone's keeping safe and want to say thank you so much for watching. <laughs>